Hi guys, it's Alice Monique with Vintage Gal 18. So I purchased this, um, I guess, box of items a while back in a thrift shop. And I really like the box and I want to upcycle it. And I love the colors that are around it. So I'm not really going to do too much to it. Um, I just do want to cover this right here. And I do want to cover the back of it. So I'm using some of my, um, I guess, stash paper and this is what I'm using. I'm using the Paper Studio and it's Cocoa Berry Dotted Diamonds and you could tell that it's an older paper because um, I guess they slashed it and I guess I bought it at a discounted price and um, I'm going to be using my punch and some florals. Some of these are from Jamie's shop and some of these I've uh, I've gotten from uh, racks like from Steffi. So thank you Steffi and thank you Jamie, uh, not too shabby, and um, I'll be using an image, and um, this is from Saturated Canary, and this box is, I'm creating this box for my aunt, um, she's a survivor, and so um, I, I really want to do this for her, so that's why I use this image. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to turn over the box and I'm going to just, um, I measured it already and I pre-cut the paper and so that's exactly where I want it. I just want to cover some of these stuff in the back and then I'm just going to get my, I'm going to use my ATG gun and I'm going to put that down. And you could use any adhesive that you'd like. I'm just using this because it's a little bit faster. Um, but I'm probably going to use my pen as well in a bit. Um, that um, I'll show you the pen I'm going to use. It has some glue on it. Um, because sometimes the corners stay a little bit lifted. So let me get my glue pen. And it's a two-way. I got this at Michael's. It's just, um, it's just glue and just push that down. This one's secured good. This one just needs a little bit. Okay, so then let me turn this around. And then, um, I, with the same paper, I punched out using my punch right here I don't know this might be the three inch punch um, but so I punched out the circle and then I want to put it somewhere about here because my image is going to cover this part yep okay so let me set that down and again just using my ATG And if there's any areas where you want to just use the pen again, like this little area, well, maybe not because um, I'm going to be adding florals to it, but you can still add a little bit. Okay, let me just organize my florals. Okay, so I'm liking the way the flowers look like this, so I'm just going to glue them down and I'm going to use my E6000 for that. And just get that going okay so you don't have to use your e6000 um, but I love this glue and that's what I have right now so I'm gonna use that And um, you can use these the way you like. Um, choose any flowers that you like to place. I just had these also at hand, so that's why I'm using these. Put that one there. Okay, let me let that set a little bit. 
Okay, and as far as the image goes, I'm just going to use E6000 as well. I would have used my ATG, but some of these glossy accents are still wet, so I really don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to put some down there. And then I know in her head I'm going to need some. And set her down. Okay, let me let her set right there. Okay, so right here, there's another area where it says uh, silhouettes, and I just want to cover that up. So I have some uh, recollection flowers in this. Um, they're little embellishments that I got, and um, they're just flat, so it kind of goes perfect. So I'm just going to lay these down like so with some adhesive. I think I'm going to flush them down like this, and then right here, I'm just going to snip at them. And then uh, from here... What I'm going to do is probably center a flower right there. So let me get these glued down. I'm going to use E6000 for that as well. And so I'm just going to flush it right there. And as far as the bottom goes, I'm just going to... Um, I'll probably just snip it with some scissors. I'm going to get another one of these little rose buds, just a little bit more, um, I guess, popped out, and just place it there. So I'm going to let that set, and then I'll come back with the scissors and just trim that. Okay, so I have this pretty little butterfly that I got uh, from Steffi, and so I think I'm going to use it right here on this side. I think that's going to add some pretty little cute crystalness on there. And so I'm just going to get my 6000 and place that down. And put it right on this side. And so that's how that's coming along together. But let me see if I can find some other little baubles to place all around. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors and just trim that. like so just so it can look nice and flush and i think right there i'm gonna add some adhesive to that right in the bottom just a little dot push that down okay let me let that set a little and the same thing on this side there's some uh i guess the supply list that was inside the box all i'm going to do is i got my punch which is this punch right here and um, I punched it on the same paper that I'm using. I'm keeping the same pattern. And then I just cut that in half. And then I'm going to put that down with some of my ATG tape. I'm going to put it like that. Because then I'm going to also add a flower in the center of that. So I'm just overlapping it because it's not going to show because of the flower. And this flower I got from a swap. And it's so pretty. I think she did that herself. Look at that. And that feels like that, um, like the streamer paper. That is so pretty. So I'm going to put that like that. And I think I might just leave that like that okay let me let that dry up okay so I pretty much finished it I added some bling to the bottom of this and then um, 
on this side as well I had already shown you the butterfly and the flower but I think well, I thought it needed something so I added some bling there then on this side I left it like that and I cut a little bit on the bottom just so it could be flushed then on this side I just cut a rectangle piece of the pattern paper and I stamped it with the totally handmade and I got that at a thrift shop I thought that was cool and I just put there Monique and then um, I did another pattern paper and I used these other uh, flowers that I have some felt flowers that's pretty much it so um, what I'm gonna do since the inside is already pretty and pink all we're gonna do is yesterday my daughter had a, an event with the Girl Scouts and we're doing a lot of um, cancer awareness and so my daughter did some beads for uh, my aunt and um, she did like this little bookmark and it has a little a little symbol there so I thought that was cute so we're gonna put probably some tissue paper in there and we're going to um, we're gonna gift that to her so hopefully we'll get to see her today so thanks guys for joining me and I hope you like this altered box bye